The Legend of Marco Polo. Hi guys, welcome to a new episode on the channel. Today we will talk about The Legend of Marco Polo. So let's get started. If you remember from my 8A episode on the Reading Explorer number 2, you might already know a brief information about Marco Polo. But here in this in this video, I'm just going to tell you about if Marco Polo actually did get to China, or is that all just science fiction? Or just fiction at all? Everything that he wrote in his book, is that fiction or facts? A lot of people actually have their own opinions. Some say that he actually did make it to the Chinese. Well, some people say that it's all fiction. Because... Well, let's talk about the facts supporting that the book is fiction and that Marco never actually went to China. First of all, he said that there is a battle. He did a battle. That there is a battle, and the battle happened in 1268 AD, from what we know. But he said in the book that it happened in 1278 AD. He might have gotten his, he might have gotten his facts a bit mixed up, or the translation just happened a little mistake then. One thing that I'm gonna say here is that there is a kind of a new copy of the Marco Polo thing. And Marco Polo is the true role model in the world. Back to Marco Polo supporting that he never went to China. Now, that was one of the reasons. And then the second reason was this. That Marco had to cross the Desert of Death, as the Chinese called it. And... Nobody ever survived there. Well, not nobody, but some people actually did survive there. But it rarely happens. Marco Polo said that he actually did survive. He had to be heat blast to do that, but sometimes heat. But that's not working. One thing I am going to tell you about here is that Marco Polo might have never actually went to China. But here is the other fact that actually supports that idea. That Marco Polo never actually came to China. The other fact and reason is that Marco Polo was just a terrifying. He, there's the animals, the accuracy of the book is almost inaccurate. There's also this creature that is said to be half fur. Also, it's a kind of a small kind of insect and it has a hundred legs. Now that is incorrect. There is a caterpillar which kind of adds up hundred legs or it's a centipede, but it doesn't have fur at all. Or my couple will just mistake it that it's fur. No let's talk about the supporting facts for if Marco Polo actually did get there. His description of the Kublai Khan's palace is exactly the same as the matching of Marco Polo's building. The the palace of the building and its structure and its decoration. It's really similar. I mean, it's not similar at all, but however, one thing is certain here that it is true. Marco Polo actually did get on with the, get up, did get on with it. Once the Kublai Khan's palace was excavated in like, I believe some of the other 90s, I believe. The description of Marco Polo of the of the palace was exactly the same as what was found. The streets, the building, the design, and the way they were put all matched the description that Marco Polo put inside his book. That was amazing. And also another thing is that Marco Polo actually did describe a lot of accuracy inside the book. We might never know that if Marco Polo actually did go to China or if it was just fiction that he actually went to China. But one thing is certain for here is that Marco Polo will be a role model forever. So yeah, I guess it will in this episode. The legend of Marco Polo will always go on. And as we know as life today, Marco Polo's tale will be translated into different languages all around the world. And be read around all the world to have a good understanding of Marco. So yeah. I guess as well on this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next episode. Shinhan out. Peace!